Leaders are in a tough spot these days. Given the nature of global competition in rapidly changing marketplaces, you're constantly being asked to do more with less. And what that can lead to is a tendency to solely focus on the execution of the mission, the vision, and the strategy of your organization and your team. And oftentimes that can put the development of your team members to the wayside. But the best leaders, of course, they execute on the strategy, but they're also laser focused on providing time, space, and ideally even budget to develop their individual team members. Google has done this beautifully over time. In 2004, they launched a project that gave 20% of the work week to their team members to work on projects of their choosing so long as it benefited Google overall. One of the key innovations that came out of that was the creation of Gmail, which they've now commercialized and offered as the G Suite to commercial customers. So as a leader, it's really important that you create that time and the space and even free up some budget so that people can develop their skills, not just for the job that they have, but as their jobs evolve, as your companies evolve over time, they can be even more productive employees for your company, but also they're gonna be more engaged and committed to you as a leader, but also to the overall organization. An example of this is I know of companies that give time for people to go to seminars, to take training courses, even to read books and listen to podcasts during office time. And if you're concerned about accountability and making sure that actually getting some benefit out of this, have them report back to the team, have them do a lunch and learn what they share, what they learned in the course, perhaps have some activities for the team to, to use and to do so that you actually bring some of that learning back into the organization. I also know a company that's more routinizing it and they're creating a book club and if they have the team go out and read a specific book, it could be around sales or communications or dealing with conflict or whatever the topic may be. And then they have a conversation where they share their perspectives, but also how it pertains to their current jobs. And then they're tasked with applying that in their jobs. So if you're looking to really become even a better leader, try to make time and space and even free up some budget for your team members. It's going to go a long way to develop them personally and professionally, which is going to create a much stronger team and organization overall.